What is up, guys? Mr. Boston Nation One Two Three here, and today I'm bringing you another episode in the bucket coding tutorial series. And today I will be showing you guys some events and listeners. So let's just get right started. So I've made a new plugin, and I've called it Events for you guys. And I'm in my main class. So since my since it's my main class, I have to extend a Java plugin. and make sure that you go to your configure build fail Conf yeah configure build path where is it where is it oh build path there configure build path okay make sure you add your external jars of craft bucket 1.719 yeah make sure you add your external jars Okay, then since it's Java plugin, you need to import that. And now with events, you need to implement a listener. So, implements listener. List, I can't spell. Listener. And you have to import that also. And now you're ready to start. Oopsie. Oh my gosh. Okay, now you're ready to start coding. So let's just do are public public void on enable and bucket dot get logger no bucket dot get server dot get logger dot dot jk wait Oh, okay. Get logger dot info, and we'll just say events. Oops, caps. Events tutorial enabled. I'm just gonna copy and paste this for the on disable. Oops. <laughs> okay. Now I just gotta change to this and this okay and in your um, on enable you need to add something for events and that is a bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register your events so if you register events and this argument one, well, I guess argument zero for Eclipse, it will be the class that your events are in. So I would type this because it's in this class. And this will be your main class, which is this one also. So I can just type this, this. And now you are ready to start writing events. So whenever you are doing an event, you need to put at event handler right like above it and then import it. And then you can do your first event. So I'm just going to say on interact import event handler on interact, which is a player interact event. And then I'm going to call it event. Okay, make sure you import whatever event you're doing. You'll probably be doing this one, I guess. But we're going to make it so when somebody right clicks with pro let's say if somebody right clicks with uh, iron hoe yeah iron hoe then it will let's say launch a snowball so it'll kind of be like a gun what okay <laughs> it'll kind of be like a gun so first we're going to have some checks so if dot if if the event dot get player is not a player, which is really technically not possible, but who cares? But if that's if it's not a player, then we're just gonna stop just in case. Make sure you import player, and 
we're also, since we're doing a specific event we want to happen, we're going to check if the player is holding a iron hoe, or else if he's not, then it won't working. It won't it won't work. So if um event dot get player dot get item in hand equals oh dot get type oops equals material dot iron barding and barding is an iron hoe. So if the player is not holding an iron hoe, then we can go ahead and return. Now that we have that, um, uh, I don't think we have any more checks. Oh yeah, one more check. If the event dot get action is equal to action dot right click air. So if they right click the air while they are holding the iron barding, then we will do the following, which is really only one line of code. You would um, event dot get player dot get location dot launch dot get player dot get player dot launch yeah there it is projectile actually first let's set our player equal to well let's cast our event <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> so player p equals player event dot get player. So we're casting our event doer, I guess, to a player. So now we can just do p dot um, launch projectile and snowball dot class. And that is pretty much all we have, all we need for this event. Um, yeah. So now let's go into our plugin.yml. And let's have a name, which can be a snowball launcher. Um, a version. 1.0 a main which is our main class so it would be me.kevin.events.main and this is case sensitive remember that dot main um author me of oh, Kevin awesome my Minecraft name um that's pretty much it we don't need to do any commands or anything because it's not a command plugin. So save that and export it. Or oh, refresh, actually. Now I'm actually just going to go over everything in this class real quick. So we have all our imports and um, our main class, which extends Java plugin because it is the main class. We have um, implementing a listener because or we have events in this class and in the on enable we have to register our events saying this this because the events are in this class and this is the main class and it's going to say event tutorial enabled and when the plugin is disabled it will be do the same thing except it will just say event or tutorial disabled now for our event we're checking if the player that's doing the event is a player and if it's not, then we're going to return or stop the code, which is the same as return. And we're also going to check if the player, if the if the item in the player's hand is an iron hoe. And if it is, then it'll continue. If it's not, then it'll stop the code once again. And if the action the player does is right-clicking the air, not a block, just the air, and then we're going to cast our event doer to a player, and then we're just going to launch the projectile, which is a snowball. So then save that and then export it. And I will just call this Snowball. 
and I will resume the video once I'm on Minecraft. What is up, guys? I'm back, and I am in the server. Um, one thing before I show you, when I said an iron hoe is an iron barding, I was wrong. Iron barding is actually iron horse armor. An iron hoe, I assume, is just an iron hoe. But anyways, when I right-click with this, it shoots a snowball. Pretty fancy. You can make it send you a message just by going to your main. And you could just say dot send message chat color dot something whatever you want I'll just say blue plus you have launched a snow ball and then an exclamation point and now you could I'll just show you for fun but yeah, let's just show you what it's like. Okay, now when I reload the server, it now sends me a message. You have launched a snowball. And it's pretty much like a machine gun, really. But yeah, that's just an example of some events you can do. There are so many different types of events. Um, it's pretty much to do anything. One event is when I right-click this thing, this this clock, and it's a lobby selector. Then it opens this place, this menu thing, and then it teleports you places, which I will show you how to do this later. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more bucket videos and other videos, which I haven't been posting that much lately. But that's because I'm lonely. <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoyed, please give this video a like and subscribe.